dear students today we are going to discuss about how to create simple lan connection using cisco packet tracer i place a note how to create simple lan connection using cisco packet tracer for simple lan connection now i am going to use two pc and one switch to connect with the two computers and create a simple lan connection just go to end devices and select pc and place it on the screen and i need one more pc and place it over the screen and the next two one is the end devices select switch wes and i am going to use 2960 and place it over the screen now i am going to change the name of the computer pc0 is computer 1 and pc1 is computer 2 in case if you want to change the name of the computer you can choose any of the name which is meaningful to the particular device just to for reference i am using computer 1 and 2 the next thing we have to link with the computer to switches just to go to connections and now i am going to use a scoper straight line through just to select the third one and you just click on the pc and select fast ethernet 0 and over the switch it's a fast ethernet 0 by 1 the same thing for computer 2 just click it over here and select fast ethernet 0 and here fast ethernet 0 by 2 right we created two computer and one switch and use copper strike line through to connect with the pc now here that green color arrow mark it shows that the pc is ready to receive the packets from either computer 2 or even computer 2 is ready to receive the packets from computer 1 now the switch is not yet enable it shows it's the orange color uh, that is circle it's not ready to send the message so what's the reason we not yet set any ip address for the pc and once we set that ip address then only we can send the message to computer 1 to 2 or even computer 2 to 1 right so for that here just click on the computer 1 and immediately the computer 1 settings window it will be appear here it's have some different options that first one is physical how the computer it look like that physical view and the second one it's configuration third one is the desktop fourth one is the programming and the last one is the attributes right now i am going to set that ip address for my computer 1 go to desktop and select ip configuration and here there are two different ip address we can set either we can use dynamic ip that is dhcp and by default it's a static option is enabled here now i am going to use static ip for example 10.1.1 right 
when you click on the subnet mosque it will be automatically set that subnet mosque for that ip address it's 10.1.1 right you close the window and you coming to the computer 2 and set the ip address for computer 2 go to desktop and select ip configuration and here for computer 2 i am going to use its 10.1.2 and it's a subnet mosque it's 255.0.0.0 right just to close the window now you look at that switch the orange color more it will be changed as green color what it mean now the switch is also ready to transfer the message from computer 1 to 2 or even computer 2 can send the message to computer 1 right so when you create any kind of network connections your connection should be in green color only if it is red color or it's orange color it denotes that the connection it's not yet set properly or we may not complete the connection in any kind of that information now it's coming to the the next one we have to send the message from computer one to two right just to go to add simple pdu just to click here now the cursor is changed as like a message box right just it click on the computer one and set to computer two right here that message box it shows that we set the message to the computer one and we can transfer the message to computer two now it's coming to the uh, that is uh, bottom right side when you set that ip address and try to send the message it immediately that progress status it shows here right here the source is computer one and destination is computer two the type of his network is icmp and the color the time it's not started so it shows that 0, 0.000 and like uh, we can edit or delete so everything you can check in the progress window right now coming to that simulation mode we have to check how that message is transfer from computer one to two right just to select simulation window and here by default there is no event it occur just to click the play button and the computer one send the message to switch zero then switch zero it send the message to computer two and the same time you look at the timing it's taken for each event right now computer two send the message it's not a message it's acknowledgement to switch zero and come to computer one right so computer one it's a successfully received the acknowledgement from computer two so all the events it displayed in the simulation window and what's the time taken and what's the lost device it reaches everything it shows in the simulation window right so this is the way we can create simple LAN connection in the Cisco Packet Razor. I hope this video is clear to you all. Still, if you have any queries, you can post it in the chat window. Right? Thanks for watching.